St. Pete Beach was voted TripAdvisor's number one beach in the U.S. in 2021. In this video, we visit St. Pete Beach and spend the day trying out some of the best bars and restaurants on the island. Along the way, we share tips for visiting, so keep watching to see what St. Pete Beach has to offer. We just arrived at the Dolphin Landing Shopping Center to go to Cafe Soleil. We decided to start our day off here because it's the number one ranked coffee shop by TripAdvisor on St. Pete Beach, and it's also supposed to have great French pastries. So come with us to check it out. Mary, the manager, was kind enough to share a little bit about Cafe Soleil before it opened up for the day. Welcome to Cafe Soleil. We've been here for almost eight years. Our owner is Lauren Chazad from Paris. We feature Parisian pastries, our delicious toasted croissant sandwiches. We have cold sandwiches on our baguettes, our salads, and our delicious quiches. We also offer all of these coffees and drinks. If you'd like a taste of Paris right here on St. Pete Beach, come and give us a try. We'd love to have you here. The variety of French pastries offered at Café Soleil was impressive. The unique decorations near the register also caught my eye. Mary shared that the café's patrons leave beautiful origami tips. All right, I'm excited to try this freshly baked croissant. This is just a traditional croissant, right? Yeah. side of watermelon. You can also choose a side salad. And this is a quiche where the recipe is from the owner's family and they are from Paris. Probably your first traditional quiche. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's part of the best quiche I've ever had. The consistency of the quiche was perfect with the blend of sweet and savory flavors. We've also tried the tart pastry, which was amazing. We now understand why Cafe Soleil is rated the number one coffee shop in St. Pete Beach. Another perk to visiting Cafe Soleil is its location. It's right next to the Dolphin Landings Charter Boat Center. A few months ago, we went on the Angler's Dream Fishing Charter and had a great time. We'll make sure to put a link in the description below for that video. After breakfast, it was time to go across the street to the St. Pete Beach Access parking lot. It fills up fast. If you're not staying at a rental on the beach that offers free parking, expect to pay for beach parking. Most establishments prohibit beach parking and may have your car towed. As long as you get to the beach early, you should be able to find a parking spot in the lot. We would recommend paying for parking on the app versus using a pay station. And the reason for that is, if you're on the beach and you decide that you want to stay a little bit longer, you can extend your time on your phone instead of having to come all the way back to the parking lot. Okay. All right, easy, quick process. So we just parked the car and we're taking this path to the beach. parking lot, there are multiple wooden pathways that lead to St. Pete Beach. There are also public restrooms and shower stations available. So this is what the beach looks like early in the morning. If you can get here early, it is worth it. It's around 9 a.m and people are starting to show up at the beach, but as you can probably see, there is still plenty of space. Yeah, we definitely recommend starting your day off at Cafe Soleil and then just driving across the street to the public beach access while there's still plenty of spots available. Now, later in this video, we're gonna come back to this same beach and show you what it's like during prime beach time. St. Pete Beach is located on a barrier island on the Gulf Coast of Florida, just west of St. Petersburg. 
It's such a popular tourist destination due to its miles of soft white sand and its proximity to bars, restaurants, and other fun activities. We love getting out to walk the beach early, before the crowds show up. It's also fun to check out some of the resorts on St. Pete Beach. If you're traveling with kids or adults who like kids things, <laughs> <laughs> there's a giant slide on the beach. They actually deflate it every night, we think. Yeah. We've, we've definitely walked by this at night before and seen it deflated. That is huge. Skylar did plan on going down the slide, but it didn't open until noon, and it was in the process of being inflated. If you're a family looking to stay on St. Pete Beach, you might want to check into Tradewinds. Yeah, it's located on a great stretch of the beach. It has this huge inflatable slide out front, which would be great for kids. And it also has multiple beach bars and hammocks out front to relax in. The property is also landscaped beautifully and seems to be home to some friendly swans. What's up, swan? It was no surprise to me that Skylar made some swan friends. Yeah, you like the camera, don't you? If you're looking for a more unique experience, then you may want to check out the Don Cesar, also known as the Pink Palace. The Don Cesar opened in 1928 during the Gatsby era. It was later purchased by the army and used as a hospital before being restored in 1973 when it reopened as a resort. Rumor has it that the legendary Pink Palace is haunted. Do you think you would stay at a haunted hotel? Let us know in the comments. All right, let's get back to our beach walk. So there is a restaurant and bar all the way up there. We were hoping to be able to go this weekend, but it's still temporarily closed. We were also hoping to stop by the beach bar here because when we did our beach bar crawl, we weren't able to get a drink here, but unfortunately it doesn't open until 11. We're a little early. We're heading back to the car right now and our time is almost up for parking, but luckily through the app, you can add time in 12 minute increments. I think that's what Skylar's working on right now. Our next stop was not too far. We had our breakfast this morning and spent some time on the beach, but it's already getting hot out. So we decided to take a break from the sun. And that led us to the drunken clam for Bloody Mary's. Now, TripAdvisor doesn't specifically rank Bloody Mary's, but it did identify this place as one of the better restaurants in the area. And the online reviews also say that this place has an amazing Bloody Mary bar, so we're gonna go check it out. at the Drunken Clam and we were really impressed because they were good and also reasonably priced. Yeah, and really strong. But we're not quite ready for lunch yet and it just turned 11 o'clock, which means Bongo's is open. And we've been wanting to check out Bongo's ever since we took shelter there briefly during our beach bar crawl. So we're gonna head over there. Now, Bongo's is rated number one for nightlife in St. Pete Beach, but let's be honest, we're not going to make it that long today, <laughs> <Definitely> so <laughs> we're going to go and check it out now. If you're like us and enjoy having a drink or two, St. Pete Beach is a great destination. Many bars and restaurants are within walking distance. 
and there's a free beach ride service that operates on tips. We'll be sure to put the link to the website in the description below for the free beach ride service. When we arrived back at Bongo's, we were so happy to finally be able to check it out. We're hanging out here at Bongo's. We haven't yet ordered, but I'm already really happy because I'm in the shade and I can also have my feet in the sand. Oh, here he comes with our drink. You better drink this quick. <laughs> oh, that looks good. So we ordered a chocolate monkey that asked to replace the dark chocolate cacao with the white chocolate cacao. I'm gonna give it a try. It looks really good. So it's a white chocolate monkey. Can you still taste the chocolate? I think so. Yeah, a white chocolate monkey. It's really good. What do you think? Oh, that's so good. That's really oh my good. God. <laughs> it tastes like a pineapple upside down cake or something. But you can taste the white chocolate too. It's, ooh. I'm not giving this one back, Jane. You can have the beer. <laughs> no. <laughs> so after just spending a little bit of time here at Bongo's, we totally understand the hype. You can sit out here with your feet in the sand under these umbrellas for shade, enjoy these amazing drinks, and we also realize that they have some very reasonably priced food on their menu, especially for a beach bar. Now we have other plans for lunch today, but we do plan on coming back here to try out their lunch menu sometime. We're just now leaving Bongo's and we're so glad we came back to have a drink. Yeah, the drinks were amazing and they had a really good reggae band playing as well that we enjoyed. Yeah, I can only imagine how awesome this place is at night. Definitely. So right now we're finally starting to build up an appetite. So we're going to head to the best rated restaurant in all of St. Pete Beach. We'll see you there. So just in case you get overserved at one of St. Pete Beach's many great bars, you're in luck because there's a 45 minute hangover cure right down the road. Kelowna is a small restaurant also located in Dolphin Landings across from the St. Pete Beach Public Access. We ordered a shrimp, mushroom, and sun-dried tomato risotto and a pizza. Both were excellent, but I think our favorite was the rich and creamy risotto. When we left, we noticed Bona had a cute back patio with a view of the marina. So we had our drinks at the Drunken Clam and at Bongo's, and we also had lunch at the best rated restaurant on St. Pete Beach. But I think it's time to head back to the beach. Yeah, it's early afternoon now, so it's prime beach time, and we'll be interested to see how busy it is compared to earlier today. Before making our way to the beach, we made a quick stop to shop at Beach Zone. This store was huge, with plenty of t-shirts, swim trunks, swimsuits, and hats to choose from. Jamie decided she needed a new hat, so we're at the Beach Zone checking them out. Is that the one? I like it. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Ooh, palm trees and flamingos. Nice. Yep, this is mine. <laughs> After shopping, we were ready to go back to the beach. The parking lot looked quite a bit different in the afternoon compared to the morning. Cars were circling the lot waiting for parking. There were still plenty of parking spots for bikes and electric scooters. So it seems that word has gotten out that St. Pete Beach has been named the number one beach in the U.S. by TripAdvisor. Yeah, because everybody is at the beach today. So come and check it out with us. Okay. 
This video was filmed the last week in February. The air temperature was in the low 80s and the water temperature was 68 degrees, which felt a tad bit chilly to us, but as you can see, many people were enjoying being in the water. Eventually, we made our way to the last beach stop of the day to spend some time with our family. We're at our next destination, which is Salty's at the Tradewinds Resort. We actually visited Salty's a few months ago on our St. Pete Beach bar crawl, but at that time we had no idea that it was known for its great food. TripAdvisor actually identifies it as the third best restaurant on St. Pete Beach, so we're really excited to try it out. While we waited for our food, we enjoyed live music, had a drink, and explored more of the property. So this one is the hummus appetizer. And then we've got the fish spread appetizer. Gouda and horseradish, right? Gouda and horseradish, yeah. That looks delicious. Green with orange marmalade. Definitely never had this before. Mm. While we were impressed with all of the food, our favorite was the prime rib sandwich with gouda and horseradish. After dinner, we walked along the beach to enjoy the sunset. We walked by an advertisement for some of the activities available on St. Pete Beach, but we were content with our beach walk. After sunset, we made one final quick stop at Mastery's, the only brewery on St. Pete Beach. That's a lot of beer cheers! <laughs> Thanks so much for coming along to explore the number one beach in the U.S. with us. If you enjoyed the experience, make sure to give the video a like and let us know in the comments. If you're interested in more St. Pete and Tampa Bay content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on. Thanks for watching. What's that? Oh, looks like a Barbie decided to go skinny dipping. <laughs> <laughs> I think Skylar is in heaven.